Good morning dolls. I just woke up and rode out of bed. Um, I don't think I'm putting on makeup today because I just want to be like very natural, very like low key today this morning. My lips, well, um, I got it to be this pink because I just pinched them, you know what I mean? And once I pinched them, they got like this pink. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> but good morning dolls so I got the sweetest gift from a friend um, my friend I'm so jealous did like a little Eastern Europe tour I think it's Eastern Europe they went to Italy and it was like a cute couples trip too they went to Italy they went to Bulgaria Budapest and yeah so Ugh, just a whole bunch of different places and they loved it. I knew they were going on this trip So I asked I was like if you go to Italy and you see a beautiful traditional Culturally dressed Italian doll, please bring it back for me Because I have I'm building my little doll collection and I would just love something to my surprise and to my delight They brought something back and it's just so beautiful I have to share it with you dolls because I'm just I'm just so in love with it Let's go and get this gorgeous gift newest to the collection i really want to get a shelf so i can display these and just kind of have them all sitting there this is like a better view the lashes i'm just like oh my gosh it's so me <laughs> so beautiful and look at the hat everything is just so ornate with the feather and the lace pearl necklace look at this just so beautiful and it came with a little stand I am just in love, so cute. And this was made in Veneza, Italy. I hope that I'm pronouncing that right. But just so beautiful. So you may have seen this one here. This is the Dominican traditional dress. And this one actually reminds me of my late grandmother. Her birthday just passed. I'm just so thankful that my mom brought this back to me. I told her I would like a doll or I would like a basket for the home. This is the very first one that started in my collection. I'm not too much into the like porcelain doll thing towards like 20 dolls just all staring at you i don't like that so it's like i kind of want to display this in like a nice way to where it shows what i'll probably do is under each one like once i have like you know a shelf built up i'll probably put what year i got it and put like a little sign Veneza, italy rosso dominica and the next countries that i go to I will look and I will hunt for these gorgeous dolls. So, I just wanted to share that with you dolls because I thought it was very, very nice, very, very cute. Today, I don't really have much plan. I did submit an order to get delivery, a, a grocery delivery. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's literally grocery, so there's nothing, there's nothing odd about it, but a grocery delivery. Just a couple of things. I've never done it before, but I just wanted to kind of see how it would go. Other than that, I am going to be doing a bit of blogging. I do want to share with you dolls some really cute things that I got. Other than these gorgeous gifts, I, oh my gosh, dolls. I have some like very exciting things to share with you dolls, like some very cute things. So let me go ahead and bring that over so you dolls can see. We have our order in and let's dig in. Favorite cereal, white bread. I never tried this, so I hope that it tastes good. Bananas, so we have mandarins too. We actually have this insulated. Ben and Jerry's. 
organic unsweet coconut milk. Typically, I do Starbucks caramel macchiato, bell peppers, ricotta cheese. I bought some boneless chicken. And these are vegan, vegan chocolate chip cookies from Whole Foods. I hope that it tastes good. I am having a curtain dilemma, so my curtains are not up yet, which bothers me so badly. These windows are much taller, so, and the curtains that I originally have, they don't come in a longer length. So it's hard trying to find the same curtains in a different length and then I honestly would love to just get an interior designer to come in here and measure these curtains just not even interior designer but to get custom made curtains at this point I'm just kind of exhausted with it but let me share with you dolls a really really cute buy that I got I got some really cute summer shoes and you dolls will see this in my summer feminine fashion haul. I'm actually going shopping, not today, but tomorrow, I think. Going to the mall and going to do a bit of shopping. And I'm really needing to kind of like restock on basics. I needed new summer sandals. I just had to share this with you dolls because they're just so, so cute. And I did get another pair of white sandals, but they're kind of like heeled sandals, but I'll, I'll share that with you dolls inside of that video. But these are just so darling and I love how it's a short heel. So I feel like even if you're going to like a wedding or to kind of like a cute little summer festival or some type of event, right? To where you want a cute dressy shoe. But this is so cute, comfortable to walk in. And I'm just in love with it. The pearls, they're just so, so cute. I knew this would look really good with the dresses that I shared in my feminine spring dress haul that I did maybe like a month ago or so or two months ago. I'll have it linked down below. This is another very exciting, not surprise, but exciting purchase, very loved purchase, okay? Yes, dolls. I am not unboxing, revealing today, but I will in the near future. Okay, dolls? But I'm like, oh. okay, leave a guess down below what color you think it is. I'm kind of like doing this thing to where I would love to build a capsule handbag collection of at least four or five just forever handbags. I would like it to be four or five handbags that I just know I'm going to be in love with. <laughs> for at least 10 years now. I, I want them to be forever handbags. I want this to be a bit more thoughtful and more acquired in a specific way, right? I don't, the thing is I'm a very sentimental person. So each time that I've gotten one of my handbags, there's always been like, you know, a celebration or a point in my life, a very sweet present, something to connect this present to this time in my life and I just love that my sister called me again I bet you she has nothing important to say hello oh how is he <laughs> all right I'm filming a video I'll call you back um I'm, I'm doing like a vlog so I'll call you back afterwards what do you mean no yes yes <laughs> all right bye do you see what I mean? I was like that, like, she had nothing important to say, just like usual. No, I'm kidding. Halfway kidding. Um, but anyways, I don't even know what, what was I saying? But, okay, yes. So I love those videos, right, to where it's like people, what people are wearing in New York, what people are wearing in Milan, Miami, Paris. And, you know, they show their jewelry, they, they show their outfit, their handbag, and they're like, Oh, I got this when I was in Italy. My mom gave me this for my 30th birthday. Oh, this is what my husband gave me. My boyfriend bought me this handbag when we were in New York. You know what I mean? I just love that. I think that's such a beautiful thing about, um, you know, purchasing items in general. But I just kind of have like this imagery in my head of this beautiful woman and her, you know, late 50s and upstairs she has her attic that she converted into her wardrobe and she has a trunk full of beautiful clothes from 30 years ago 20 years ago 10 years ago she has these handbags and these jewelry pieces the strands of pearls and 
she's able to kind of say, I got this at this time. This was a gift from this person. That to me just means so much. And I just love that idea. Just like a fabulous, you know, old woman with these beautiful things and all of these memories attached to it. And I think that's the main focus, right? Because, you know, I love vintage things and I feel like vintage things are beautiful. To me, they have a story behind it. And that's just all to say, that's what I want when I'm, you know, having these purchases of luxury items. I don't want to just kind of like buy it willy nilly and just be like, oh my gosh, I love this purse, so I bought it. And of course, you know, I love all of my purses, so that's why I bought them. To have a story behind it is just way more meaningful to me. I <laughs> I typically get their limited edition Chipotle. It's like a Chipotle little warm bowl. The wild rice, tomatoes, sweet potatoes, spicy broccoli, parm, blackened chicken, romaine lettuce, and I think that's it, yeah. Pesto vinaigrette. I also got their Chipotle salsa, which I really, really love. I went to World Market. I bought these two little candles and they're so cute. So they actually have cuter candles there with like cuter vases, but I didn't like the scents as much. It was something called like crystal. Outside of it was just so, so cute, but these smelled so good. So this is vanilla orchid. It looks like this. I think that'll be nice to put, you know, on my nightstand or in the bathroom. White tea and thyme, oh my gosh. I feel like that's the perfect scent for like a living area, especially after you are done cleaning, right? It's nice to have something like that. So it's like, it's just like the 
cherry on top. And this one's called number eight. No, this is number two. What brand is this? I'm so confused. Oh, so these are World Markets. They smell really, really good. I cannot wait to actually light these. Ding, cheers. <laughs> I wanted to order new pillows um, for the bedroom and I did get king size pillows. I love big giant pillows for your master bedroom. It looks so posh, it looks very, it's just like, you know, a bed fit for a king and a queen. But my thing is, I don't like super fluffy pillows. But I ended up buying a set of two king size pillows. We have a proper pillow here. It is kind of like fluffy. But you know, whenever you make your bed, you want it to look like it's a bed of a posh hotel. And it fits like half of the bed. So like on the right side, straight down the middle, it fits there. I'll link it down below. There we go. And then watch it roll out. Ready, set, go. Super flat. I was like on a pillow that is this flat. Yes, it's the perfect amount of cushion. Maybe like a tiny bit thicker. My life would have been so much easier if I just got a pair of scissors. I love it when brands send stuff like this, like a little dust bag, a little keeper, because it's so good for travel, right? Like whenever you are bringing like three different pairs of shoes or like I don't even, I, I've never bought like one of those traveling packs for your underwear and for your shoes. Here are little slip covers because Primarily a lot of the brands that I purchase from they'll always come with like these little and the other day from an Amazon purchase <laughs> It came with this one And so this is so cute for like a little pair of sandals, right? Like wh whenever I'm traveling for my carry-on So I did want to share this with you dolls really quickly I made my own little floral arrangement here These are from artificial flowers from different bouquets that I purchased I didn't get any fresh flowers this week. I would like to actually invest in some quality floral arrangements. I wanted this one to match this tablescape here. I just thought it was fun to kind of do my own little faux arrangements here that I love. I got a new mop this little notch right here and it sprays and in here I have cleaning solution so this is really great for just like daily mopping if you don't want to get out the bucket with the mop and all of that type of jazz and if you don't really like the little Swiffer cleaner mopping pads things I think like those are okay for like daily just like quick cleaning situations once i run out i feel like i'm not in a rush to buy more i actually bought this on amazon these pads are actually washable i love the color of this i feel like it's super neutral and i feel like the green is like a lime green swiffer and it's, sometimes it's just like an eyesore if you just want to store it inside of like your kitchen i just kind of keep it in my little cleaning closet and i'm good <laughs> I want to do like a little life update chit chat time before we go to sleep first and foremost the whole foods order went it went nicely they did forget one of my items but it was fine i told amazon they gave me a refund for the item and then they still had someone drop it off to me so i was like oh that's nice now me i don't really like ordering fruits or vegetables and then someone else picks it out because i feel like they literally picked pick out the fruit or vegetable that looks like it's either been stomped on or a toddler had like a nice fun time with it and then it came to the grocery store and then to my house so yeah i'd rather just go to the farmer's market and get my fruits and vegetables but like for the most part like i feel like 
bananas and like a bag of cuties mandarins like that's perfectly fine um and those ones are fine so i trusted those ones i don't do apples or like strawberries or stuff like that to where it's like you want to have a good eye i guess i just wanted to do like a quick update with you dolls because i feel like so far away I don't know why I feel this way. I, I do know why. I feel like I haven't done tea time and chit chat, like a live tea time and chit chat. And that's kind of like when I first started my, my channel, I started doing that and I haven't done it in like over a year. So I feel like I haven't had a proper time to sit down and catch up with you dolls and kind of see how you're all doing and like just chatting with each other sharing advice and experiences and I'm really thankful that we have our comment section so we can do that but it's a bit different when you're able to do it live right so yeah i just miss that i haven't been posting as often and that's because i am doing my classes and it's taking me it's taking a lot of time a lot of time so i just feel like all of the home stuff has kind of been taking up more of my time along with my classes and all so like with the decorating and the cleaning i'm so happy that i got that new mop by the way i feel like it makes my life so much easier when it comes to cleaning it was left overnight so i didn't really have to do too much tonight which i really did like so that's been taking a lot of my time i i actually started at a new gym which i'm so so happy about um it's kind of like it's like one of those I don't know it's more so of like a fitness studio i'm so happy that i joined i have not been going on my nature walks like i really have not gone for like the past month or so um because i have been terrified of these attacks okay on women who are walking and exercising and then they're attacked and sometimes it like it doesn't obviously right like safer areas it's less likely and the places where I walk, they are quite safe. But, you know, anything can happen, right? And I feel like with my nature reserve walking trails, it's a bit more secluded with the trees and everything like that. So I just kind of want to be in a more open environment. So I found a park that is closer and it's a bit, you know, it's a nice safe area. But I'm just like, I'm not going out there without a taser. Like, that's just how I feel about it. So I do have to order one. I should have already had one. I used to have one, but I don't know if that's bad. I don't know what I did with it. I think, like, once I was moving, it just kind of, like, got lost. But, yeah, so I've been doing that. I'm now at a gym. Very happy. They have been helping me with my eating plan. I'm trying to slim down the summer season and forever. Um, you know, there's some vacations and time away plan. Sundress season, it is crop top season. And, you know, not crazy crop tops, but I used to love, love, love. Like my prom dress that I made, it was like a little crop top. It was long sleeve, off the shoulder, crop top with a long skirt. I think I'm going to be going to a fitness class, not tomorrow but the day after. So I kind of want to plan it out. So I'm making that a priority. Nothing else really, like I'm trying to, I think I mentioned this before, but the redecorating process, the curtain issue is bothering me, but I'm getting through it, okay? Top of that, I would like to buy a new purse. Um, ooh, my phone. I do have a purse to show you dolls. I will go ahead and let you dolls know it is not an everyday purse it's just kind of like one of those special pieces and it's really like one of my dream bags i almost forgot to share this with you dolls so i try them out and i feel like they're really great for book reading because these are quite fluffy okay like i'm a flat pillow type of gal so but these are quite fluffy this little gray sheet set was a gift it was a housewarming gift from my great aunt <sighs> i don't know if i got like a good enough video of it but the sky i was looking out the window i was like what is that like pink glow the sky looks so beautifully pink it was like pink and lavender and like cloudy it was just so so pretty so i had to i had to share it with you dolls because i thought it was so nice but good night to you dolls so let's go ahead and just unwind for the night now yeah.